Whoa, he's red. He's hardcore. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, biomass. I think I collected biomass. Or do you mean something else? Oh, what is that? Alien ability sample. Oh, there we go. There's biomass. Okay, I have no idea that that's... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Something's happening. Okay, return. Launch harvester. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks and welcome to Genesis Alpha 1. Genesis Alpha 1 is a mixture between survival game, FPS, and base management building game. You have a big spaceship. You can build um, your spaceship whichever way you like. You can put like a farmhouse here or a greenhouse here, a barracks there, quarters there, a tractor beam there, whichever, whatever you need uh, to get more resources or to make your life easier with turrets, to defend yourself from alien invasions on your ship. And then it has the FPS elements of where you fight off aliens in your ship or on planets that you can land on to gather resources. So it's a lot of aspects, covers a lot of genres. It's very interesting. We're gonna have a look at it. I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the ball to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start a new game. We're gonna select the Survival Training Corporation. So let me just see here tutorial. This tutorial will introduce a system that will need to be used to successfully complete a Genesis mission. The crew and artifacts are not configurable during the tutorial. However, completing the tutorial will unlock corporations which can be configured with custom crew and selected artifacts. Very good. Now there is a roguelike element to this game, which I'm not sure exactly how it ties in, but usually roguelike means you die and parts of your progress before or your mission before will unlock certain things you can take advantage of in your next place. Through. So I'm gonna be I'm interested in how they are going to tie this all together So they have a lot of different genres they're mixing here. So let's start the mission. Oh, can we do anything here? No, we can't. Okay, let's start the mission When I was young Our dream was to go to the stars And so we tried give our best and in the end we made it into space We came here to prove our machines our courage We came for the competition and for the vanity we weren't ready yet, and the dream faded, it became a nightmare, it became propaganda and lies. But soon, our old dream I like his little tree. necessity. We needed resources, we needed more space and more food, we needed a perspective. After years of digging in the dust of Mars, the inventors gave us wings. The inventors? Hyperdrive. Our ticket to not only Venus or Jupiter, but to Messier, to Andromeda to a galaxy we call Alpha One. A galaxy full of bright suns and beautiful planets. A galaxy full of life. A new hope. An alliance of powerful corporations was forged and Project Genesis initiated. The dream returned and we became pioneers again. Arcs full of genetic material reached Alpha One. Ah, the that's gold. gross finding a new home for its cargo and to initiate a new genesis for mankind the best commanders were chosen to lead these starships are they all androids myself. you are one of them oh i'm an android welcome to the oh. shipbuilding interface okay. <laughs> here you build and upgrade our ship okay excellent so we have our resources there on the right storage deposit i know before you can start the mission to find a new home for mankind, you should add some needed modules to your ship. Yeah, that's what we we're about to do. Build a greenhouse and build a tractor beam. So let's have a look here. We have connections, which is access corridors, turbo lifts. You need a greenhouse to provide your ship with a vital biosphere during our endeavors. Yes, then we have farming, which is bio tanks, deposits, refinery there on the right. You can see the materials it would cost to make it and the short descriptions of what it does. Tractor beam is here. Um, clone lab and clone lab and quarters very good a greenhouse so we're not androids we, we need to breathe air okay let's do it aluminium you see the way it says aluminium it's not aluminum aluminium that's welcome to the outside of the US world <laughs> where everybody says aluminium <laughs> so obviously these guys uh, are non US developers because otherwise it would be aluminum so greenhouse defense uh, workshop space travel very good I like that okay so let's go and do the greenhouse this as we're supposed to the concept of cultivating plants on board of our ship is central to the Genesis project 
There is no technology known to us that can effectively store or even provide a vital biosphere for the full time of our endeavor. Different life forms also demand different I let her speak. components to survive on this ship. To compose a certain biosphere, we need special plants. Okay. Superior genetics cloning technology is not configured for the creation or reproduction of plants. This means that we need to protect our plants at all costs. Well, that makes sense. Otherwise, plants are dead, we are dead. So it costs five iron and two copper to build. Reactors are needed to power ship modules. Now, that's reactor description, not the greenhouse description. There you go, greenhouse description. Creates the ship's vital biosphere. Aluminium and energy. So we can build it here at the back. So when we press space, it goes to the closest snap point. And we can see there's actually no snap point anywhere except here and here. So that's the only two snap points. So let's get a little bit closer. There we go. And let's just put it at the back. End of story. There we go. With the tractor beam module, you, gain, uh, you can gain resources while in space by beaming space debris on board. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I would say it's um, a farming thing? Yeah, the tractor beam. The alpha quadrant is full of shipwrecks. Our tractor beam module is a fast way to acquire already refined materials. Materials will be directly moved to the ship storage. No deposit and no refinery required. Okay, I would say um, let's not put it near the greenhouse. Um, let's put it here on the side of whatever this is. There we go. Tractor beam. Oh, it actually says there. Bio tank. Quarters. Bridge. Oh. Rename ship. USS Genesis. No, 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 no. It's going to be the USS Balls. Very original, very mature. USS Balls. That's what we name our ship. There we go. Storage 32 out of 40. Crew cabin 4 out of 5. Remaining resources. Crew without a cabin. Zero. Okay, start the game. So that was the shipbuilding part. And then you walk through your ship all the parts that you build which is really cool so yeah like a first person mode for that date year 2147 it's our little ship quadrant alpha one all right ida startup procedure initiated status report crew five reactor status i just spit all over my screen <laughs> Promoting captain. Adriano. No, 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 no. That's not. He's human. He looks like a plastic doll. And see, this is the confusing part about the game being on the Epic Store. Now, the game is on the Epic Store, I think, and comes out in 2020 January, I think, on Steam. So, I don't know if this is considered early access. On Epic Store, I have actually no idea. So, if this game is in the equivalent of Early Access or not, I don't know. I actually don't know. So, if it isn't, I hope they change the humans to look like human at some point. Because I think they're supposed to be human. And I'm walking way too fast. And I, can't, I can only walk faster when I'm holding shift. No, when I'm holding shift, he does something else? What does he do? Ooh, interesting. I have no idea what it does. What do we have here? A trade center. No merchant in range. Wow, okay, so here you have trade. And what is this? Hold to speed up process. Scanning, space debris. Well, we're not scanning anything. Scanning, scanning. Okay, so we have three scanning stations. Call IDA. Hello? Hello? IDA? Talk to IDA. Welcome to the bridge, Captain. Here you can find the galaxy terminal. Hyperdrive control and computer mainframe. Use the galaxy terminal to set travel destinations. Ooh. He's definitely not human. I mean, he has a silver glowing face. Okay, she just disappeared. Very good. What do we have here? Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. We already have actually weapons on us. They're the two weapons you see here, I would, I would, I would guess. And then here we can refill our weapons. So if we unload our gun. Okay, that sounds really weird. How do we reload? Do we not reload? R? Okay. 
Okay, weapon PDA, crew left shift, so and then we can Okay, so it just it just fills it up. What about the gun? Okay, that's infinite armor. Uh, ammo. It seems infinite ammo, yeah. So it's just an energy weapon. Okay. What else do we have here? What is this? Oh. Oh, that shows us our biomass and our health. Hold E to gain health. All right, so we heal up on that station. And that's an energy, okay. We snoop around everywhere. So if this is the ship we just built, all the way at the Ars has to be the greenhouse. There we go, look at that. Nice. Oh, talk to the IDA. This is a greenhouse. The concept of cultivating plants on board of our ship is central to the Genesis project. Okay. There's no technology known to us that can effectively store or even provide a vital biosphere for the full time of our So that's basically the stuff she told us earlier. Life forms also demand different biosphere components to survive on this ship. To compose a certain biosphere, we need special plants. Superior genetics cloning technology is not configured for the creation or reproduction of plants. This means that we need to protect our plants at all costs. Plant? Processing. Waiting for plant. Nice. Oh, crew assignment. Quick crew assignment. Job assigned. Job assigned. Oh, so we can assign up to two people here. That's interesting. Can we can we undersign them? No, it doesn't seem like we can. Oh. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. So they're actually working here now. Oh, that is so cool. Hang on a second. There's something up there. What is that? Gold iron storage. Oh, it has a little bit of a status screen. That is so cool. I love it. Hold to speed up. We now have a palm tree, which... Oh, there it is. I don't know why it wanted me to speed it up there, but here we go. There's our palm tree. Nice. So now we get things from the palm tree. Do we get coconut? Coconut would be so sick. Okay, can we like unassign these guys somehow? No, it seems that we can't. Okay, fair enough. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. But um, we obviously have um, O2 that's been generated now, which is good. What was the options there? Change screen. Oh. Oh, I see. Nice. Biomass, tw 10 out of 20. Very good. I like it. And then here we have the storage room. Okay, this is pretty scary looking. Okay, what do you have to say? This is the refined storage module. Production ready materials leave the refinery and will be stored here. Keep an eye on our refined storage capacity. If we run out of space, the refining process will be placed on board. Okay. Our refined materials are the source for shipbuilding, weapon, and ammunition supplies. So sulfur and lithium are only used for weapons, and iron only used for, re for, for ship resources? Fair enough. And then we have travel resources. Very good. I keep pressing escape and exit, and this is just the main screen. Okay. So it seems every terminal has that main screen. And then here we have the bio tank. We don't need the weapon. Put it away. There we go. Okay. This is the bio tank. All biomass you collect will be stored here. Make sure we always have enough biomass in stock and biomass tanks ready. Biomass is the basic material for every cloning procedure. So that's how we make more crew then, I suppose. And then here we have the tractor beam. Now the lady, the we just kind of talked to her to get it over and done. I know she already said it. Our tractor beam module is a fast way to acquire already refined materials. Okay. Materials will be directly moved to the ship storage. No deposit and no refinery required. There we go, there's the terminal. So we could theoretically... Oh, okay. Let me see. Let me see what that looks like. That is awesome. It's beaming. It's beaming a debris aboard. Let's hold to speed up. Oh, look at that. There we go. There we go. There we go. There it is. Look at this. Resources collected. 
So what do we have on resources now? Can we go to that screen again and see if we have different resources now? We have still 25 iron. I don't know what we got. Energy, 30. I don't know what resources we got out of that. I have no idea. If it said it on screen, I missed it. But that's pretty cool. I like it. And then here we have the quarters on the opposite side. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. This spacious one-bedroom apartment. Very lovely. It's like it's an all-in-one. You know, you have the bathroom facilities. You have the kitchen here in this corner. Bathroom facilities over here. If you have guests over, the living, living room can be over here. Like, very entertaining with the music and entertainment center. And the bedroom is right here. It is a lovely, spacious one-bedroom apartment. And then here we have plastic lady number one. She has a question mark on her. And she likes to look at herself. Yeah, too much makeup, too little hair, and you, you look very plastic. Okay, she looks like a mannequin. It's like the movie Mannequin, except they don't look sexy. Crew quarters. Each crew member needs a slot in one of these modules. If a crew member okay. is sick or feels bad, you can most likely find them here. Okay. And that's it. Beautiful. What do we have here? Oh, there's a little door going to nowhere. All right, I think we looked at everything. We listened to everything. So let's go. Oh, that's a deposit. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Welcome to the deposit module. Raw materials from the hangar will be moved here by carrier. Oh, nice. Make sure that we always have enough deposit space available. Otherwise, the carrier robots will leave farmed raw materials in the hangar and further harvesting will not be possible. Okay, so basically when we come back with the ship, everything goes in here, but we only have eight storage uh, capacity for deposits, so we have to be careful. Now, where is the bridge? There we go. Oh, see the survival guide. Okay, so PDA is T. You have been sent to Quadrant Alpha 1. The mission is to find a new home for the crew on board of this ship. Expand your ship and explore the galaxy for resources and interesting new life forms. <laughs> interesting new life forms. <laughs> a Genesis candidate. And when you are ready, initiate a Genesis. All right, so ge initiating genocide. Genesi is the main thing here okay so genesis mission no genesis oh use the tractor beam to farm resources go to the tractor beam Welcome module the yeah we already did that oh so tab is the shipbuilding module okay we already we already beamed some things on board but we're not, we're not gonna tell her okay we're, we're just gonna keep it on the low on the down low let's go to the terminal scan debris okay we go to Debris. Okay, here we go. Assign crew to tractor beam. Job assigned. Okay, with just one. One should be fine. Shipbuilding. In order to manufacture weapons and defense, we need a workshop module. Okay. A workshop module. Where are we going to put it? So let's see. We need defenses workshop. Oh, we have the materials actually. That's pretty this cool. This is a workshop module. Here, we research and construct weapons and defenses. You can also configure the weapon racks with your favorite selection of weapons. Assign engineers to the workshop in order to speed up research processes. Okay, so it seems that... Oh, we can go here. That's pretty cool. Can we go up there? We can. Yeah, let's put it here. Okay, so we have a workshop now. Leave the shipbuilding menu and go to the newly created workshop. The workshop is attached to here somewhere. There we go, workshop. I like the way it says it there, like workshop. It's pretty awesome. Okay, gonna have to talk to the lady. Oh, access the weapons rack and pick up a turret. Optional, you can select a different weapon for one of your weapon slots. Access the weapon rack and pick up a turret. Okay, let's do this. No, storage, here we go. So we're gonna open this up again. We're gonna pick up the turrets. And apparently I can do different weapons, I have no idea. Tractor beam. 
the module to protect the crew against. Oh, place a turret in the tractor beam room. Okay. All right. Um, well, to protect the crew, so let's put it right here. Go to the greenhouse to improve the ship's biosphere. Well, we already did. We, I think I already did what it wants me to do. I'm sorry. I just thought it was so much fun and I have no idea where I'm going. Um, storage, quarters, it's here to the left. There we go. Plant, a uh, plant. Oh, I like the way it already sees it as accomplished. Assign a gardener, we already did that. Build a clone lab. Okay, so that's the next step now. Build a clone lab. So crew, clone lab. Five iron, In our five clone energy. Laboratories, new clones can be created and added to the crew. Thanks to superior genetics advanced technologies, we are also able to combine human DNA with DNA we collect in outer space. Oh, great! This feature gives us the amazing option to create perfectly specialized beings for the Genesis program. Was that not against the Geneva Convention or something like that? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, this seems like a good spot. I always wanted my cloning lab near the greenhouse. Just in case they die, we can fertilize them straight into here. Very good. Go to the cloning lab, which is... Come on, we just attached it. Is that it? No, that's not it. There it is. Yes. Resource acquired. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. Let's talk to the lady. Laboratories, new clones can be created and added to the crew. Thanks to superior genetics advanced technologies, we are also able to combine select a human clone and start the cloning procedure from a clone lab terminal. This feature gives us the amazing option to create perfectly specialized beings for the Genesis program. Clones, human. So that's why we look like plastic, because we're clones. Biomass 5, clone. Cloning initiated. Production in progress. Use, use a workstation. Okay. Use a workstation. Where's our workstation? Oh, yeah, 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 it was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, no, that's the workshop. Use a workstation. Oh, here we go. Resources collected. I think that's what it means by it. Oh, use a workstation. That wasn't the workstation. Okay. Cloning done. There we go, cloning done. E-completion. Open the building menu and build a hangar. The hangar will give you the option to farm resources on nearby planets. Can be found in the farming category. Very good, I like it. So farming. A hangar. A hangar is needed for planets harvesting harvest cargo. Okay. This is our hangar module. The hangar is necessary to acquire resources, plants, or other interesting things from planets and shipwrecks. You need to assign pilots to operate a hangar. Please use the hangar terminal for additional information. That is a big ass terminal. Go to the hangar and send a harvester to a planet. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, guys. So I'm not sure if we have to scan a planet first, um, but we can. It's a resource locator, so we can scan the planet and then it tells us what is on it. Oh, there you go, launch harvester, yes. Harvester destination set. Oh, okay. Join the expedition. Bye bye ship! Okay. I just went along. It's like, yeah, I'm the tag along. <laughs> okay. So we're actually on the planet now. Collect resources. Nice! Oh, look. Oh, this is bright. What is this? What? Where is this coming from? That light? Oh, it's the turret light, is it? It's very bright. Oh, right mouse button. Look at that. Oh, yes. Awesome. Oh, okay. I help you guys. Oh. What is that? Oh, wow! 
We have aliens already attacking us. Can we loot them? Go! Dude, I have been strafing an FPS game since you were before you were born, dude. Born, born, dude. Oh, what is that? I want to pick it up. Can we collect it? Yes! Oh, I think we did. We collected biomass. Oh, we can collect the biomass. That is so cool. Where's more of their bodies? Can we explore the planet? Oh, look at that. Oh, do we only have a certain area we can use? Oh, okay. You're leaving the harvesting shield. Okay, hostile environment conditions will kill you. Okay. I don't know where we are. Where are they shooting at? Here. Oh, little worms! I didn't realize that there was little worms. Okay, let's get more resources. I'm gonna do more resources, guys. You just shoot everything that comes near us. Sulfur ore. Nice. So there's only one source. Oh, look at that! That's not our ship. That must be an alien spaceship. That is amazing. Is there only the one in orbit? That is so cool. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's asking us to collect bio biomass. Oh, the harvester is full. Okay, so we need biomass. Where did we shoot those guys? Oh, there we go. Whoa, he's red. He's hardcore. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, biomass. I think I collected biomass. Or do you mean something else? Oh, what is that? Alien ability sample. Oh, there we go. There's biomass. Okay, I have no idea that that's... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Something's happening. Okay, return. Launch harvester. Yeah, don't let them come to our ship. Alien ability sample. That is... There is some really strange mechanics in this game. Like, as in, like, good. Like, uh, as in, they, they look like fun. Talk to Bishop. Okay, topics. <laughs> I'd like to talk about your name, please, Bishop. Your name sucks. <laughs> I think you should be an android because that's what you look like. Shipbuilding. Topics. Shipbuilding. Use the shipbuilding menu. Okay, they're just basically telling you what the IDE is telling you. Build a refinery. Oh, look at this. Look at these guys. That is so awesome. I really like the way, like, the automation happens. It's like, it makes it feel so alive, like things moving around, people walking around and studying things and doing things. That is so cool. Okay, we have to build a refinery okay so a refinery i would say is farming refinery we can build it yes we have five iron and 32 this energy is the refinery raw materials will be enhanced here this process takes time to increase refining speed assign engineers to work in the refinery okay now knowing that we probably have to enhance our build i would say could we connect... Oh, that's the hangar. Yeah, we can't connect anything here. Our ship is going to look really weird. It's going to be all lopsided. So maybe the best way is to... Have that here. And then turn it around so we can build to the front. Okay. There we go. We have to go to the tractor beam and go into the refinery. Go to the refinery and refine collected resources. Don't forget to assign some crew members. Perhaps you need to reassign a crew from other modules at the green, at the crew screen on the right side. At the crew screen on the right side. Oh, here we go. When it actually said right, it probably meant here on the right hand side. So gates, there we go. 
Okay, now back here in the refinery, we can now assign gates. Job assigned. Okay, let's see. In the moment, we are refining sulfur. So let's see what he's gonna do when he gets in. Oh, there he is. I like the way he's in the yellow suit now. All right, so he basically works on a station, so to speed things up. So I'm gonna work on this station here, and we're both gonna work, and we speed th we speed things up. Go to the bridge to travel to another planetary system. Okay. What is the refining next? Sulfur ore, waiting for resources. We can't untick things. Change screen, select preferred resource as exit. Okay, whatever. Oh, look at that. So we refine it. Oh, look at that. This guy is actually bringing the resources over. That is so cool. New materials have been refined. That is nice. And then, of course, yeah, he's bringing more resources. That is nice. Okay, so now the guy is asking us to go to the front of the ship and go to the bridge and do what? Use the galaxy terminal. Use the galaxy terminal at the bridge to perform a hyper jump to another planetary system. Okay. Wow, okay. Performer high. Oh, look at that. Can we zoom in? What is this? We only have planets explored two out of six, but it wants us to go somewhere else. So, a hyper jump. Do you want us to hyper jump to a different solar system? There we go. To that. How about that? Hyper jump. New materials have been refined. But can we not hyper jump? Okay, do we have to stay within the confine? Yeah, we have to stay within our square. I didn't know that. So let's go over here. Danger low, danger low, danger low. Perfect, perfect. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, nice. Look at that. Nice. Oh, that is amazing, guys. The way this looks. And we're here. Good job. You should be familiar with all the basics um, that a Genesis captain must know. More information is available by asking crew members or using the IDA spots located in the various ship modules. This is pretty badass. I like it so much. The way it's... Um, it is very simple, but at the same time, I suppose... The aim is to build a bigger ship. So if we want to build a bigger ship, we see, okay, what is it we want? If we want, for example, a, a deposit, we need iron. So we need to find a planet that has iron, I would assume. So we're gonna go to our scanning, um, actually we can scan it here, I think, is it? New materials no. have been refined. There was somewhere where we were able to scan. What, um, what the planet has the planet the planet scanner oh yeah the hunger that's where it was oh let me walk through you please don't make me wait okay you you do what you have to do wow look at that nice okay so let's go to the hangar and let's see where we can go I didn't mean to access it. Resources unknown. Let's scan first. Okay. We have to scan everything first so we know resources are actually there. This is lithium ore. What is this? Collect using a tractor beam. I will do that if I know what resources. If it's iron, then we're definitely going to collect it. It's sulfur. We already have enough sulfur. So let's scan this bad boy. Oh, there we go. There's some iron. You see? Now we can go to our tractor beam area. Tractor beam, tractor New beam. Have been refined. Okay. 
There's our tractor beam. Here we go. Nice. So what we can do now here is we can select this and then say, hey, debris, 12 iron. Let's go get it. Let's get us some iron, baby. Thank you. And you know what, um, Wallace? You take care of it, okay? I'm gonna put it in your trusted hands. It's not like it can run anywhere if you steal it. Um, greenhouse, hangar. We have to scan a pona to see what we have there because we can land on the plant and get the iron ourselves. Uranium ore. Okay, come on, give me some iron. Iron ore, yes. Okay, so we could launch this, but you know what, guys? We're not gonna do this right now. I think this was a very good first look at what the game has to offer. So you have base building, which is your ship, which is these shenanigans here, and um, while they are very basic, I think it's, I don't think you need to be more complex though. Like, I mean, you have the resources, you can build your different systems. Now, I don't know if you can uncover more systems as you come across alien technology, maybe, you know, maybe you come across an alien race or whatever, and you can learn something new. That would be cool if that was a thing. And um, we also had the FPS action with the hangar where we landed on the planet. So we actually had a look at all the aspects pretty much um, of the game, a little bit of it, like which is really good. Anyway, good first episode, I would say, on the information we covered. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.